Okay, it's Beano, folks, and basically this is going to blow your socks off because basically we have what I said before about a huge comet that we, when I went to one of the blues a long time ago, I did a movie. You can go back and look at my movies. I just can't remember what the heck the name of it, a darn thing is, but we've got, uh, never had that happen before in a video player, but we've got that, which more than likely looks like a huge comet out there, and we're going to zoom in on it, and the number one thing is we got the meatball showing right up. We're getting a good shot in the back door in the dark because Venus, Uranus, and Uranus, Uranus, Venus, Pluto, and everything in the back door is dark. But right now it's the sun and the supergiants, and where we are in our spin in space, in our track of our rotation and our uh, stereo play, because basically we're always been led to believe by all of the astronomers and astrologers that the idea that we are in rotation like a hoop you know we just go in a circle all the time on whatever platitude that we're at latitude uh in stereo play now you should be able to see it by now i won't be playing with you at all but we're going to zoom in on this stuff we're pretty probably more just going to stay it right at this recording and check all this out because no matter what it looks like we got a comet way up there and that might be that one they're talking about because the sun is over here and it would make sense if it arcs and the fastest is the space that would come around the sun, like most everything does, seen in the Milky Way galaxy. It usually takes a nice hoop around the sun. And remember, we've already proved it. Basically, they pretty much, these asteroids, comets, objects that are basically grazing the sun, usually coming around in a triangulation of three or more. So now let's go ahead and zoom in on what I'm telling you basically is the meatball and you're probably going, well, what the hell are you seeing and everything like that. Now remember, always watch it on full screen. And we got Earth and Venus over to the right. And there you go. Now, if it was a reflection of Venus and Uranus and so forth, or just somewhat of a reflection of Uranus, then Uranus is bigger than what they're saying it is because it's a hell of a long ways out. But basically what it shows is the meatball that we always see because basically when we move left, this is what they usually show you because this, the sun and the supergiants is back under here, okay, being blocked by the solar panel on the satellite. And then you get this great shot because we've got Earth, Uranus, and Venus. They're pretty much in conjunction. There's a lot of stuff in conjunction right now. I could be wrong on saying that Venus and Uranus are in conjunction, but in the, when this video was on the, on the third, I'm pretty sure this is the third, you can see, well, we'll know back when we blow back out of this because basically I'm staying on the same shot that we started with. So there you got the meatball down there. Then we got this comet, or whatever the hell, up here because you can't miss it. Either that or we have a very unusual, huge conglomeration of planets. Now, it's not real unusual because we do see a lot of stuff. good example is, uh, I'm going to EIT here, the image latest... And basically, they're not wanting us to see something, or there is probably a solar flare with the idea that we are getting a CME where there is disruption of being able to get a good feed. But anyway, sometimes they block, and they did block a little bit of stuff on uh, Lasco 2 and 3. Actually, I think it was 3. So let's go ahead and take you to Lasco 3. So here you go, folks. This is off of 2, Lasco 2. And you got the remnant that we all know of right there. And then we'll go to 3. And earlier, I believe here on 3, that they were blocking some stuff earlier on the right-hand side. Possibly could have been the feed. Now, we got a good example a little bit in here, too, that you can see the shadow right here of what we pretty much see by looking at what we're looking at on Sechi. Now, check this out. It's right here. Now, this could be the later remnants of a CME, but it also pretty much somewhat x-rays what's out there in space. Now, this is... Uh, Lasco 3, C3, should be from, I believe that shot is from a head, okay? And that's what we are looking at on when we're here. We're looking from a head also, okay? So basically what they do is they're shooting over here to the left. But actually, it probably could be from B. I've forgotten what the heck exactly. C3 and 2, I think, for shooting from behind the sun. I'm not positive on that. Yeah, I believe they're both from behind. One's a zoom in. This is a zoom in. And layers, 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 remember. So it's from behind. But you're getting that image that we were seeing on A that's to the left. 
of the sun because they sh shooting on the other side which that's what we're shooting from on this and then we're seeing this hugeness here that you see right there it's around there let me I don't know if I'm zooming in is gonna help at all but you should be able to see the circular over right there and then remember to take a look at all that we showed you I showed you in a couple videos before today this is some pretty wild coverage right here and pretty much the meatball because we're used to seeing it back here by the sun in the super giants and basically what it's done is it moved way the hell out here now I would think that with the magnetism that we see here more than likely mercury or venus mercury or venus would be possibly there I'm not sure we're exactly sure but we got what we got right there so we can zoom in on that a little bit so that's from a long ways out in space folks but pretty much you can damn well tell that that's not no reflection of anything that that's actually there humongous next to venus and uranus massive distances between venus and uranus but and you can't miss it it's right there And there you go, you got the sun to the left. And there you go, that's all the, we're straight in from, and it's H12A. And we're shooting from ahead, and that's the sun of the super giants getting blocked by the solar panel there. And up there we have, more than likely, I'm starting to think that it doesn't look like it's a comet because it pretty much stays there solid. I'm beginning to think that that's probably that group that we end up seeing a lot of times when we're shooting the sun. And it's up here on the right hand side. We usually see it like right there. Matter of fact, I'll zoom in here on this at like 400 and scoot over. I should be able to pick it up. And there it is. I'm pretty sure though, I think that's what we have, that tight group that we're catching here. Because that's the sun down here to your left. Okay? So, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much more than likely that there. We kind of need to look for that there, left of it. And more than likely, it probably is this here conglomerate here, so it's to the left of it. When you're looking here, it's pretty much the left of that. So, that's your latest there from that image and Sechi. And I'll go see what else we can find from looking at. And we'll pop this back down so you can see what we were looking at. And that's what we were zoomed in on. We'll zoom in it one more time. And you pretty much know that that's basically a solid object right there. We'll go to 400 first, and then we'll pop in to it at like 800. We'll put the custom in. We'll go to 800. And you can pretty much tell that that's not no, it's not no silhouette. It's actually back there behind all those stars and planets, and it's huge. And then we'll go over and there you got the arm and the sun, the super giants, and that's our meatball that we usually end up seeing. Coming in there and right. There you go. There's the meatball. It ain't no reflection of anything. And it's not a reflection of the sun because you know the sun is even smaller because the sun's small enough to get hidden behind the deal here. 
So it's pretty much the meatball, what we've seen before. So our precious quake we got right now is a 3.3. So I don't know. You can always see my time down central time right hand side. Central standard time. 3.3 in northern Nevada. Anyway, here's a transit compilation of uh, off of Core 1B, one, 1 and 2, and EUV B304, Venus and Jupiter. So let everybody know about this huge meatball that we can see, folks. It's really real, but you can't miss it. Pretty much matches straight up. If you don't believe me, back up to the beginning of the video. And we can zoom in again and again real fast here. We'll pop into 400 on it. And you can't miss it. It's right there. Huge distance away. But it's there, and it ain't no shadow or nothing. Can't miss it right there. You can even see its shadow over here on this side. The silhouette of it over here on this side. So you know it's not no damn. Not no damn reflection, folks. It's out there. The back door of the, in the dark. Uranus. The only light that's over there right now is Venus, and we're just getting enough so we can be able to see it pretty good, and we've seen it a lot before on all my videos. It's the meatball, folks, and the sun's right over there to the left, behind the solar panel. And Earth, we're all the way over to the right, and that's on our back door, our dark back door. No matter where you're at on Earth, this is on your back door in the dark. Uranus, the meatball. And it's huge. It is huge. And there you basically can see the Uranus there on a farther away shot. And you can't see it because it's in the dark. So you're not getting any light illuminated on it to be able to see it. But we only really can see it when it's up by close to the sun or when it is close to something that illuminates some light, which we saw, I'm pretty sure what, what we had coming off of, what was it, coming off of Jupiter, I believe, right? Well, it was Uranus and, yeah, I think it was Jupiter, or Venus. So, this is from B from behind, the other one was from A, and that's where you can see it on A. You can see it on ahead, but you can't see it on behind. This is the freshest dramatic footage I got from, uh, but I think I got earlier than that too. I mean, a little bit later than that, but I don't know. I got the second for sure right now. Jupiter does a CME. That's the sun first. And then Jupiter does that little CME there. And then does that little CME at the end. That's the sun doing a gigantic CME. And then Jupiter does this little CME reactive flare right there at the end. That, that little blink at the end. Yeah, I'll take another one. So. And it's starting to be interesting that this might be some of the meatball back here behind Jupiter from this angle possibly but you see how it keeps the darkness there it's so far away and so massive it might actually be I'm really starting to think that that's H45 back there or mass 45 I mean M45 it's more than just a star cluster it's a gigantic meatball back there out the back door of earth <laughs> 